if I was a general ophthalmologist doing cataracts for two years. And it was during that time that I transitioned to fall madly in love with retina. I loved the surgery. It was so fun and so different. When I was in fourth grade and I had a teacher who uh, kept on mentioning that the body was a wonderful machine. You know, she talked about the machinery of all the organs and uh, of everything that we could do. When you are a surgeon and when you use a wide angle uh, lens, the whole retina in front of you and uh, it looks like a fantastic landscape. I chose the medical career since I was three years old. <laughs> so I always wanted to be a doctor, I don't know why, but uh, many people ask me when I was little, what do you want to be when you were uh, old? And I always say, doctor. So here I am. For me, pursuing a medical career was not even a question. I was actually looking at my mother, my father was a dentist, my aunt was a physician, my grandfather was a physician. We were always brought up to think that we need to do the best that we can with, with our lives. When I had two small children being invited for the first time to an inter international panel, it was like a 10 minute gig, but and it was in San Paolo. Um, and it took me like 10 day round trip, but it was just, I knew it was important to get that first rung on the board in terms of an international reputation. Bob Markimer at Duke was looking for someone to do macular translocation surgery. And I went in whole hog. I loved it. It was crazy. It was scary. It was one of the toughest times in my life coming home and crying about whether should I keep going forward. Guest speaker who at the time was Professor Hyman to talk about some oncology stuff, watched his talk and went, oh my God, this is amazing. This is really what I want to do. And came to Liverpool for six months, left my my two-year-old at home with dad and uh, came to Liverpool and, and met a, a lot of people who were really uh, key and active in research that had never really been on my radar before. It's not always easy to explore new fields. If it's successful or not, you learn out of this situation. It's, it's a way we, we need to, to take care of the balance between job and family and friends, not only family, but also friends. And it is because you are in, in a good spirit, you are happy, just, just happy, that you can uh, uh, be a, a better doctor. Just grasping opportunities that perhaps you weren't expecting, then perhaps weren't on your road map that you had yourself to and even if they do make you a little uncomfortable, recognizing that, you know, that probably everyone's feeling the same. Finding the right balance is crucial. I feel as though when I'm at peace in my family, I have the liberty of mind and heart and energy to concentrate on my work. I think we're quite lucky in ophthalmology. It's no issues as a... Um a minority or a woman in training, uh, thinking that I was at any disadvantage. But the more and more senior I got, the more and more I realized there were less people like me in positions of, uh, you know, responsibility. And I think as as people in, in positions now of leadership, that's where it comes in is to support the young and up and coming ones with a similar degree of mentorship, help them, you know, write their CVs or point them in the right direction or give them career advice or, you know, point them to a, a fellowship that would be more suitable to what their interests are. The women, ourselves, we have to change our mentality. It's not that someone else have to let us do nothing. It's up to us, the same as any other people. So I think we have to be positive Think always that we can do it because we can do it. If we really want to do something, we have to fight for it. And specifically in women, if they consider everything, you can be a good mother and a good doctor. For all of us, it's important that we support each other, um, even the, the person that's actually made it th through this ceiling. I think very important for us to recognize that even though you have achieved something, some leadership position, Actually, things still are hard and perhaps not as still as equal as as a male in that position. I'm convinced that we are when we are alone, 
it's very difficult. And the way is definitely to, to gather people to work together. I think it's extremely important to, uh, you know, to, to uh, be each other's uh, backup, but uh, provide feedback and be critical, uh, you know, supportive, but critical. I spend a lot of time mentoring junior faculty and trainees. And the thing that strikes me most is there um, often that people are afraid to reach out and realizing People are friendly, and if, if they're not, just move on. But it has always been so valuable to build the network. It's always the, someone asks me about what can I do going forward? And it's like, pick up the phone, who can I connect you to? Because they can tell you about it. I don't have the expertise, but reach out to someone else. Talk to people, find a good mentor. That I think is also very essential. Find a good mentor or maybe more than one that has helped me, you know, during my career. Being a doctor is not only doing a degree, it's a way of life. I always say to people who want to do medicine, just make sure it's what you want to do. Um, lots of people get pushed into it for various reasons. It, it is hard work, but if you enjoy it and you want to do it, it is the best career that you can ever kind of go for and I can never imagine going for a different uh, career that involves me sitting in an office all day I, I couldn't physically do that so I love my job I think it's the best career choice I could ever have made but it has been hard work getting here I think the medical profession is excellent for uh, the younger generation you can be a physician is doing a lot of good for many patients you can go to academics you can be a good teacher you can teach multiple generations of students and make them better physicians. You can be a researcher, you can go into uh, genetic research, you can go into epidemiological research. It can take you to multiple routes.